Hey, what's up everyone? It's Ben from Epic Guitar Instruction bringing you another song lesson today on the Talking Heads classic, Psycho Killer. It's a really fun tune to play and it's just good parts, good, you know, funk guitar parts, good fun stuff to play. So we thought we'd put together this lesson for you and bring it to you guys. So let's jump in and take a look at some of these parts of this great tune. Right at the beginning of the tune, uh, you can open up the, the bass is kind of you know, vamping on that thing. Before we're getting into the tune and we get to do our harmonics. This is always a fun, exciting day when we get to use these things. So we start on the 12th fret here and I think they're playing the middle strings. So that's strings five through two. You just, you know, do to do the harmonic thing, resting your finger lightly right above the fret wire, barely making contact with the string. And then as soon as you strike it, you release to let that bell tone ring out there. So you can do one there and then one here at the fifth fret. And you can play all the way to the first string this time. That's how I hear it. So that's that's happening while, you know, the drums and the bass are kind of getting us into the tune. Like I said, it's always a good day when we get to use harmonics. And then we have this little part here. This is my favorite part of the two. Now there's a couple of different guitar parts that are happening. There's a lower part that's kind of playing some of these lower power chords. But if you're just jamming this tune on your own or you're trying to make this happen with your band and you're the only guitar player, I kind of like go into this higher voicing here. So let's break this down. I've seen the talking heads or, or seen video of them do this a bunch of different ways. So this is kind of the universal way I would say to, to play this. And what I like to do for this is grab this note, this note, and this note, which makes like an A5 power chord. And I'll even bring the thumb up and over here and grab another low A note. So what this does for me, if I can mute all the strings, strings five and three um, with my fretting hand. So I deaden those and that allows me to really dig in as I'm strumming, but only hear a power chord. So, you know, I can really have a wide strumming radius, but only get those select few notes. Now, if you want to play maybe like an A minor like this, that's not going to hurt anything either. It'll still sound like the tune. The basic thing that you want to do is start getting this really staccato thing happening by strumming and then relaxing the fretting hand. So the way I like to do that is just squeeze and release. Every time I strum, I squeeze and then right as soon as after, uh, right after I strum, I should say, I relax the hand to kind of create that staccato feel. And then you have this little chord that you'll go to up here, which you can either play as like a uh, diminished seventh kind of shape like this, or you could even just play the top two notes here. And here you're just strumming some 16th notes. Um, so you want to put that at the tail end of that strumming. One. If you want to incorporate some of that lower part, start with an open E string, then grab either a G bar chord or just a G power chord, if you prefer, and give some love to the lower end of things, right? The lower strings here. And so that's kind of both guitar parts, but if you kind of go back and forth between them, you can kind of get that feel happening. So that kind of takes you through the intro. If you're playing this sort of thing live, you can vamp on that, you know, and, and really just kind of groove on that until you're ready to start the song with the lyrics. At which point we're going to change what we're doing guitar wise. 
So you might be noticing that we're using some bar chords in this lesson, and this can be a little tricky for us at first. It's a hurdle we all have to overcome as guitar players. Uh, so we want to help you out with that here at Epic Guitar Instruction. We have a whole separate lesson designed on helping you improve your bar chord skills. We're going to teach you essential bar chord fret hand techniques how to transition from barred to open position chords. There's a ton of exercises. It's a free video lesson, and there's also an ebook for reference too that has additional diagrams, chord diagrams, exercises, all good stuff that you can add into your practice routine to help you get that bar chord game you know, up a notch so you can play tunes like this one and so many more. So to get that, all you have to do is just click on the link that you see below in the YouTube description box We'll send that to you for free from Epic Guitar Instruction. Again, a couple of guitars happening here. We're going to do a little bit of an amalgamation of uh, both parts here. So that's two parts. First part is kind of playing this seventh chord and we're arpeggiating. We got the open fifth string. And I'm starting by playing this and then going to the higher part of the chord here. And I'm not being, I'm not worrying about being too specific on whether or not I hit one string or two strings. Sometimes that kind of looseness to it makes it feel a little more natural to my ears. So I'm just basically holding the, the basic chord. You know, if I wanted to be real specific I would just play five four two three five four two three but that's a little too clean for me so if I sometimes hit a couple extra strings I think that kind of adds character to the part uh, at the tail end of that again that sort of lower string thing happening open E to like a G5 this way to an A5 power chord here. And I'm mixing that together with that arpeggiated thing up here. And you see I'm leaving that A5 power chord out because I gotta get back to this section here. If you had two guitar players, you could split this up. You know, you could have one guy doing and the other guy just doing letting that ring out. But once again, we're trying to see if we can't cop a little bit of both parts. Uh, the chorus. Now, the chorus is pretty straightforward. It's just some bar chords. We're going to let them ring out. Just got to get them in the right sequence and we're golden. So F bar chord. Psycho Killer, fa fa fa, and then we play that A minor chord and we, we stop it, we rest there. And then David Byrne does his weird vocalizations that we all know and love from that tune. That's the first time through. Second time through, you're going to go F, Psycho Killer, fa fa fa, uh, run, run away, whatever happens there. But this time we're not going to uh, play that and rest, we're going to let that C ring out and maybe fill it out with some strumming. So let's go back and play that in context now. So we got our F. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. C. Three, four. Right? And so it's just uh, different combinations of that as we go throughout the chorus. Post-chorus, we get a little bit more of this. And that leads you back into your verse, which again. And so on. So like all good pop songs, we're going to take you through verse, chorus, verse, chorus again, and then we find ourselves at a bridge. And the bridge is, again, pretty straightforward, just consisting of some, some new chords now. We're going to jump up to a B minor. 
And there I'm just playing quarters, you know, but very staccato. Once again, a lot of space between. So that use that little squeeze and release technique here. I think that works well. Two, three. Now to G. Same thing. Two bars on each. G. Okay, coming out of that, we're going to play this A in the open position, barred with the first finger, and we're going to do that quick little gallop into it. Down, up, down. Real quick, just let it ring out. Now let's go to a G5 here, and we'll play that the same way. And we'll do that two times. And that's it. I think there's a bunch of French something or other going on here. I don't speak French, but I don't know. And then there, we'll just let that ring out. We're just holding time there. And that's all the parts of the tune. Like I said, it's a really fun tune. One of the classic Talking Heads tunes. Just fun, funk, rock, guitar stuff that we can you know, start to have some fun with as we learn the tune. So thanks so much for checking out the lesson. Hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Uh, we're Epic Guitar Instruction. We keep bringing you guys these lessons. All you got to do is click subscribe. We'll let you know when we're going to bring you a new one. If you dug the lesson, leave us a comment below. Uh, click the like button, share the video with your friends, all that good stuff. And we appreciate it so much. Once again, this is Ben for Epic Guitar Instruction, and I will see you next time. First tune, first, uh, not, not the first tune, maybe with the first part of the tune. How about that? Probably don't want a whistling in your lesson. Let me do that again. I'll just do it from the playing.